Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's talk about the virial theorem. What is the virial theorem? Well, it turns out it's looking at the internal structure and hydrostatic equilibrium and pressure, but not looking at the actual inside of the star, but from a perspective of just energy alone. Because that's essentially, when you take a look at it, all the atoms and molecules are moving around and all the electrons are moving around and they both have kinetic and potential energy at any point in time, each one of those molecules. So essentially you can think of the star as being a big conglomeration of little particles that have both kinetic and potential energy. So if you want to see an example of that, think of a satellite going around an object, like let's say going around the moon. And notice that we have big M being the mass of the object. Uh, then we have the radius to the orbit of the satellite, which has a small m for mass, velocity of the satellite, and then h, of course, is the distance from the surface of the object to the orbit. We then know that the kinetic energy of that satellite will be 1 half mv squared, and the potential energy of that satellite will be minus g times the mass of the object times the mass of the satellite divided by the distance from the center of the object to the orbit of the satellite. We also know that the absolute value of the potential energy, because this is a negative, negative sign, of course, its potential energy is negative, except at infinity, and so the potential energy, the absolute value thereof, will be twice the kinetic energy, and that can always be seen in the satellite, that's the case. So what we can therefore say is that if we consider the potential and kinetic energy, that twice the kinetic energy plus the potential energy must add up to zero. That seems quite obvious because the magnitude of this is twice the magnitude of this and this is negative so when you add it you get zero. Or if you then think of all the little components of the star that two times the sum of all the kinetic energies of all the atoms in the star plus the potential energy of all uh, the potential energy of all the atoms inside the star when you add them all together you should therefore get zero and that's essentially the basis of the virial theorem so we can then say that the total energy will be the sum of all the kinetic energy plus the sum of all the potential energies or realizing that of course the kinetic energies have the magnitude of the potential energy we can then say that e total the total energy will be half the sum of all the potential energy which of course we know is negative therefore we can say that the total energy can also be expressed as the negative of the sum of all the kinetic energies if you then compare that to the satellite you can see that the total energy can be expressed as the kinetic energy plus the potential energy which of course is negative we can also express it as half the sum of all the potential energies so that's the equation of potential energy divided by two or we can think of it as the total energy is the negative of all the kinetic energy so this is how we would express these three expressions in terms of a satellite but of course in terms of a star you can have the exact same format but realizing you're going to sum up all the individual components within the star and so that is looking at the star from a energy perspective rather than a structural pressure force and gravity perspective and that is what we mean by the virial theorem